It's your girl Miss Natural Journey and I am making this video today in response to the recent ruling that it is legal for companies to decide not to hire a person based on the fact that they have dreadlocks. Now I tried to do further research and pull up the actual wording of the ruling however um, the link that was in the article that I was reading did not lead me anywhere it was just like a an error message that popped up so I will leave um, the link down below to the actual article but basically it's a woman who's in I believe it was Mobile Alabama who was hired or was interviewing for a position and was told that she could not have the position because she wears dreadlocks and they tend to get messy that's what the HR uh, manager told her now if I were not a Christian woman this video would be filled with lots of bleeped out words and blurred out hand gestures because I believe that that is just some boosh. Okay, I'm just gonna call it that some boosh. Um, okay, first of all, it's just, it's just so ridiculous to me. If a company decides to not hire a person who is qualified, who is educated, who is experienced, who is the perfect candidate, but they have dreadlocks, that company's CEO or whoever's making the rules is an idiot. A straight freaking idiot and I would not want to work for a company like that anyway so it wouldn't be them making the decision not to hire me it would be my decision to not go and work for them if they ever mentioned that you are qualified however you need to change your hairstyle or you will not be hired no boo why should I have to change my hairstyle because you feel uncomfortable with it when locks are another form of being natural Really, it's the purest form of being natural because if you did nothing to your hair, no matter what race or what culture or background you come from, um, if you did nothing to your hair and you left it in its natural state, your hair would lock. So all of us would have dreadlocks. <laughs> and there was once upon a time where everyone did have dreadlocks. And um, at the end of the day, you know, different cultures wear dreadlocks. But we know the majority of dreadlock wearers are of African descent. So I feel like this is just like another plot from the devil to just continue to separate us. We're already separated by race. We're already separated by class and religion and with everything that's going on in the world today and in this country, the last thing we need is someone telling you that you can't wear your hair natural in locks because they tend to get messy, which I'm gonna get back to in just a second. I got a lot of attitude about this situation right now. Um, I work for a professional um, company. I am in a professional environment. I'm in an office and my locks are just fine like even if they get fuzzy my hair naturally grows fuzzy and kinky that's literally how my hair grows so why should i be discriminated against and told that my hair may get messy because it's growing in its natural state i find it absolutely ridiculous and it's discriminatory at the end of the day um people need to have more tolerance for different cultures and i believe that when it comes to something as simple as hair we should work to learn at least the basics about hair that we don't understand. Like if you question whether or not this person's locks are neat or kept or clean, like maybe you should Google it, look at some images. You can see what kept and clean locks are. And I mean, in general, everyone knows hair that's not clean. There's going to be buildup. There's going to be a smell. Like we know what unkept hair is and what messy hair is. And I believe that if you have a question, you should research it and learn more about a different culture instead of, you know, deciding not to hire that person because you think they may get messy. Like that's freaking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like when I was reading this, I was like, this can't be real, but it's real. It's legit. Like that's the country that we're living in where this has become legal. Now I can understand being discriminatory against, you know, hairstyles that are just a complete distraction, like hairstyles that are freaking rainbow colored spikes everywhere. Like, yeah, that makes sense. That has nothing to do with there's no reason for a person to want to wear their hair like that other than their own creative decision. But to wear locks is part of a culture. It's part of, you know, the movement that we are starting to embrace, which is wearing our natural hair. We've been told for forever that if your hair is straight and tamed and if you're not reflecting basically European standards of beauty, that you are unkept and you need to go and change. Like, no, I'm not the one that needs to change. 
you are the one that needs to change. If you think that natural hair and locks are messy and unkept and that that person should not work for your company because of that. Um, if I were to ever told that I needed to change my locks, which I'm thankful that I've never been in that situation, um, I would have some choice words for that employer. And I would be the one choosing to leave because I'm not going to remain in an environment that looks down on me because I chose to embrace my natural hair. Locks are just another form of a natural hairstyle. And now that, you know, African-American women are starting to stand up and say, you know, no, I'm not going to straighten my hair. I'm not going to process my hair. I'm not going to perm my hair. I'm not going to, you know, put weave in my hair if I choose not to or a wig or whatever, just because it makes you feel more comfortable. Like, I, I feel like the world needs to get with it and needs to embrace it because I'm just not here for people trying to tell me what's beautiful and what's not. If my hair is clean and neat, and if you don't know what neat is, maybe you should Google it, um, then there's no reason for you to even be worried about how my hair is styled. Um, yeah, I just feel like it's another way to just discriminate and cause more rift and division. And um, when it comes to the statement that they tend to get messy, I've seen straight hair that tends to get messy. I've seen curly hair that tends to get messy. I've seen wavy hair that tends to get messy. So why is it that because I have kinky hair and I have locks, they tend to get messy that just doesn't make any sense. Like all different hairstyles can get messy if you don't upkeep them, if you don't keep them up, if you don't maintain them. Like if you don't get your hair brushed or whatever, like your hair is gonna get messy. So I just think it's complete nonsense. And in response to that, I say we need to just have more tolerance for different cultures and educate ourselves when it comes to the basics of other cultures, including hair, like how basic is that? Um, and if you have questions about whether or not locks are kept or unkept or neat or whatever, Google it, look on YouTube, you can learn whatever you need to learn on there and educate yourself instead of turning away someone who could be a great candidate. Um, and then also just, oh, and also um, I got a phone call from an old friend who tried to argue the fact that they believe that companies should have the right to <laughs> to discriminate against employ or people who are interviewing um, because of their hair and because of locks or whatever the case may be, because they may not know what kept locks are or neat locks are. So just not even, they shouldn't even like put themselves in that position to have to make that decision or whatever, whatever, whatever. Educate yourself and you will learn what neat locks are, what not neat locks are, what kept hair is, what non-kept hair is. And um, maybe it'll make this world a better place. So we have a um, hashtag for this situation and it is hashtag professional locks or hashtag locked professional and I'll put those down below. I want you guys to share a picture of yourself in a professional environment rocking your locks and let these people know that uh, we are not ones to mess with okay because I am not here for all this nonsense. So comment down below if you've ever experienced um, any discrimination because you wear your hair natural or because you wear locks. And um, I think that we just need to create a movement because they need to know like this, this is not okay amongst all the other things that are not okay going on and all the racial tension that's going on. Like this is just adding to that and it's not okay. So um, check out the article also down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm, let me whip my hair. Mm.